Before you start, please read the instruction manual before beginning any installation. This Comics exposed roller shower door can be installed to open from either side of your enclosure, depending on shower head and control valve location. The sliding door panel should be installed on the same side as the shower head and control valve for optimal water retention. Using a stud finder, locate and mark the center of the stud on the same side with the shower head. Measure from the center of the stud to the front of the sill. This measurement will be A. Subtract 5 eighths of an inch from measurement A. This result will be measurement B. On the opposite side of the enclosure, measure and mark distance B. Align the outer face of the wall jam with measurement B. Use a level and tape. Mark the holes of the fixed panel wall jam. Remove the fixed wall jam. At each marked location, drill a 1 8 inch pilot hole, then a 1 quarter inch hole. Insert the anchors. Reposition the fixed panel wall jam. Use a drill to start screws, then hand tighten using a screwdriver. For the 48 inch assembly only, mark 21 inches or 53.6 centimeters from one end, then cut the U-channel. Carefully place glass panels on a soft surface and inspect the glass for defects. Remove the two bottom corner protectors. Install the U-channel to the bottom of the fixed door panel. Apply silicone. Remove the remaining corner protector. With assistance, carefully position the fixed glass panel into the fixed panel wall jam. Use a level. Compare measurements. For 48 inch assembly only, mark 25 and 5 16 inches, or 64.3 centimeters, from one end, then cut the water diverter seal. Remove the two bottom corner protectors. Install the water diverter seal to the bottom of the sliding door panel. Align with the inner edge. With assistance, carefully place the sliding door panel on multiple layers of cardboard against the rear wall. Door handle holes should be facing away from the fixed panel. Measure the distance between the fixed glass panel and the wall. This measurement will be C. For 48 inch assembly, Subtract 25 and 5 8 inches. For 60 inch assembly, subtract 31 and a half inches. This result will be measurement D. Mark measurement D from one end, then cut the top track. Install end cap on the fixed panel side of the top track. Disassemble the fixed glass support. Attach the top track to the inside of the fixed glass panel. Hand tighten using the Allen wrench. Ensure the top track is level. Mark the projection. Remove the inner fixed panel support. Carefully lower the top track. Loosen the four set screws on the bracket collar. Remove the mounting bracket from the bracket collar. Center the mounting bracket within the existing mark and mark the center hole location. Drill a 1 8 inch pilot hole, then a 1 quarter inch hole. Insert the anchor. Attach the mounting bracket to the wall. Use a drill to start screws, then hand tighten using a screwdriver. Slide the bracket collar onto the end of the top track. Rotate the top track. Reinstall the fixed glass support. Slide the bracket collar over the mounting bracket and tighten screws. Place the center guide against the fixed panel. Mark the hole location. Drill a 1 8 inch pilot hole, then a 1 quarter inch hole. Insert the anchor. Attach the center guide. Use a drill to start screws, then hand tighten using a screwdriver. Measure the distance between the center guide and the door side wall. This measurement will be E. Mark measurement E along the bottom, then cut the dam strip. Apply silicone. Place the dam strip into the center guide. Place the dam strip support against the sidewall. Mark the hole location. Remove the dam strip support. 
Drill a 1 8 inch pilot hole, then a 1 quarter inch hole. Insert the anchor. Reinstall the dam strip support. Use a drill to start screws. Apply silicone, then hand tighten using a screwdriver. Install screw cap. Apply silicone on the entire inner edge of the shower door enclosure. Disassemble the limit stop bracket assembly. Install the limit stop bracket assembly to the sliding door. Hand tighten using a screwdriver. Disassemble the roller assembly. Install the roller assembly to the sliding door. Hand tighten using the adjustment wrench. With assistance, carefully hang the sliding door panel and roller assemblies. Disassemble the anti-jump assembly. Install the anti-jump assembly. Hand tighten using the adjustment wrench. Close the sliding door panel. Mark the inner edge. Open the sliding door panel. Align magnetic seal wall jam with mark. Tape in place. Mark the holes of the magnetic seal wall jam. Remove magnetic seal wall jam. Drill a 1 8 inch pilot hole, then a 1 quarter inch hole. Insert the anchors. Reposition the magnetic seal wall jam. Use a drill to start screws, then hand tighten using a screwdriver. Install one magnetic seal onto the magnetic seal wall jam. Install the remaining magnetic seal onto the edge of the sliding glass panel. Test the closure of the door. Install the first blade seal. Install the remaining blade seal. Loosen the nut, but do not remove. Rotate the large plastic nut. Tighten until fully secure. Install the roller back cover. Remove cap. Loosen the nut, but do not remove. Rotate the plastic nut. Tighten, then reinstall the cap. Disassemble the handle pole and handle bushing washers. Install on the inside and outside. Hand tighten to secure. Apply silicone. Remove the remaining corner protectors. If needed, install the spare water diverter. Your Comics exposed roller shower door is now complete.